My name is Dan Reisler, and we're here training for the 50th anniversary Reach Beyond Magnetic North Pole trip to raise funds for Outward Bound. And this weekend is just about seeing what some of the challenges are of trekking and tripping in Arctic conditions, and we certainly got that, so that's why we're here. My name is Daniel Longo. We're out in Huntsville preparing for the Magnetic North Pole just to test out our gear and sleeping systems, eating systems, our tents, everything in between and seeing how we ski. And One thing that I'm really excited about is being on a trip with my dad and just skiing together, bonding so that we have something to talk about in the future and tell family and my kids at one point and maybe grandkids, who knows. <laughs> We had our test run last night and it was freezing cold, got maybe two, three hours of sleep, but I can only hope that it'll be better than that. <laughs> to say this is the coldest weekend of the year doesn't do it justice. We camped outside last night in a tent and the temperature dropped to minus 30. That's cold, but we're told that it won't be that cold when we uh, ski to the North Pole. So this has to be good training. I'm excited for the challenge of the adventure, having met now most of the people who are going to be on the trip. I'm excited to engage in this kind of a team exercise with these people. It's a really interesting, really cool group of people. The, the biggest challenge, of course, is the fundraising part of it uh, because we've all committed to uh, raising substantial funds to support Outward Bound and I don't want to let anybody down. So uh, that's going to be a challenge too. So I think Outward Bound is different in a few ways compared to other outdoor programs because they give back to at-risk youth and women that have faced trauma as well as soldiers that are coming back into civilian life and that's going to serve a good purpose for them. What I know about Outward Bound from my own experience is the emphasis not just on being outdoors and understanding the outdoors and kind of survival and that sort of thing but the sort of softer elements that are just as important like the teamwork getting used to the idea of being able to do more than you thought you could do and working together as a team so to make sure that everybody gets that experience. That's what Outward Bound brings to this that's different. 